Military veterans Denise and David Hudson moved to their Halifax County farm five years ago. That's where they put their military backgrounds to work, raising and processing several types of livestock. They raise Scottish Highland cattle, horned Dorset sheep, meat goats, and hogs. We've always um, been proud that we're veterans, and we've always been proud to market our products as a veteran-owned and operated farm. Um, and we became involved with the um, Veterans Coalition. We were aware of there's a couple of programs nationwide, that's one of them. And when they um, started talking about um, offering the certification, Homegrown by Heroes, then we started discussing that with them and applied. And we were the first farm in Virginia to receive that designation. Denise and David, their farm brings, well, USDA certified. Um, not just pork, but they also bring the beef, the goat, and the lamb products to the market. Um, Denise does numerous grilling demos at the market, and not only when she does the grilling demos does she feature her products, but she also likes to include other vendors' products, such as the breads, the vegetables. Whether shipping products off the farm or selling them directly to the public, today's farmer must work with a team of people to sell their wares. They must understand financing as well as production because making a profit is essential to their farm's success. Hudson says military veterans have that team experience that helps them stay focused and organized with the many tasks they face. Plus 44 percent of recent veterans went into the service from rural areas. A lot of veterans are coming off of farms already. Um, they are uh, enlist in the military, they um, learn additional skills, they build on the skills that they already had. Um, yes, they leave the military, they may not have a, a job then, but farming offers them opportunity to be their own boss, to utilize some of the skills that they possess or that they've learned in the military, and it allows them to um, come back to their farms or um, maybe move to a farm and work with someone else and, um, and you know, market their skills. Well, I think there's a great connection. The military is a, a value-based organization. Values like uh, selfless service, loyalty to others, uh, hard work, um, individualism, but teamwork. Uh, and farming's the same way. You know, farmers have to be very independent in their thought processes and accomplishing their day-to-day -day goals. Um, frankly, it's not, a, it's not an occupation that's going to make you rich, so that's where the selfless service comes in. You have to enjoy it yourself as well as you have to enjoy providing something for others. There are opportunities to use the GI Bill for agricultural education to gain a degree or a trade skill like welding to use on the farm. There are also national groups like the Farmers Veterans Coalition that offer information on how to get started in farming and there are mentorships available with veteran farmers like the Hudsons. This is a Scottish Highland cow. It's McKinley. Uh, her calf is over there. And, uh, you know, we raise our cattle, uh, of course, for meat. They're not pets, even though it might appear that way at the moment. Um, sh she may well go to slaughter one day. Go on, girl. Pasture-raised meats are a opportunity for our people and our children to eat better. Veterans not only uh, work for everyone in America when they're serving their country in a battle or when there's not a war, uh, they can also come home and continue to serve and use those same values to provide food and nourishment for our society. The Hudsons say a farm doesn't have to be large to be successful. If you're a veteran with a desire to farm, there's help to make it happen. County Farm Bureaus are another resource. The American Farm Bureau has put together tips for local farmers to help returning veterans get started in agriculture. There are plenty of other farmers and organizations that are willing to assist and step up to guide you. So don't be afraid to ask for help. From South Boston, Virginia, this is Dave Miller reporting.